Okay, this process requires lots of practice. Here are six more problems for you to try on your own. Pause this video, do these on your own, see if you get the answers I get on the next page. Uh, so make sure you try these. It's really important. You need the practice, not just for homework. Let's do it first here, then the homework's going to be easier. So pause this video uh, and then check your answers by continuing the video after you've tried them out. Okay, here we go. Let's look at all six of these problems real quick. Um, each of them are trinomials, so I'm going to start off with a binomial times a binomial. x times x. I've got 14, 1 and 14, 2 and 7. The first two add up to the 15, so I'm going to get 1 plus 1 plus 14. I'm going to leave the checks for the end. It's also a nice way if you do a few problems first and then go back and check to do a, a really what I would call an honest check to make sure you're not your brain isn't fooling you into to seeing the, the answer is the, is the correct one when it's really not. Next example x squared minus 10x plus 21. Set up your parentheses. Split up your x squared to x and x. Factor your 21. 1 and 21. 3 and 7. There's no other factors. If I want to get a negative 10, I need two negatives, and we want them to add up to a negative 10, so I'm going to use negative 3 and negative 7. So there's our factorization. I'll check in a few minutes. a squared minus 9a minus 36. Set up your parentheses. a squared goes to a and a. Negative 36 is going to be factored I need one negative and one positive. I'll start with a negative at the beginning. Negative 1, 36, negative 2, and 18, negative 3, and 12, negative 4 goes in 9 times, negative 5 won't go in, negative 6 will go in 6 times. Now, looking at these and adding these up, doing the sums, the one that's going to add up to closest of what I want of a negative 9 is negative 3 and 12, but it adds up right now to a positive 9. The fix for that is to make change these signs. So a positive 3 and a negative 12 still add, multiply to negative 36 but add to a negative 9. So I'm going to use plus 3 minus 12. I'll come back and check that in a minute. Next trinomial m squared plus 5m minus 24. Set up your binomials. m squared goes to m and m. Negative 24. Negative 1, 24. Negative 2 times 12. Negative 3 times 8. Negative 4 times 6. Your negative 5 won't go in. Negative 3 and 8 add up to positive 5, so we'll use negative 3 plus 8. We'll check that in a minute. Our next example, trinomial, set up your parentheses. And set up your x's. x squared is x and x. And then factor the negative 10. Negative 10 will give us negative 1 and 10, negative 2 and 5. When we try to add those up, we get a 9 and a 3. That's not even close to the 4. And we've looked at We've looked at all the options here. The only other thing we could do is change signs, but changing the signs won't change the number. It'll just change the sign of that sum. So it turns out there are no two factors of negative 10 that will make a 4. So this polynomial is actually what we would call prime. It does not factor. So every once in a while, you're going to see a polynomial that doesn't factor. Here's an example of one. Last example x squared is going to factor to x times x. Let me erase that real quick. x times x. And then the y squared is going to split up into y and y, but let's the y is going to be paired up with factors of 14. So 1 and 14, 2 and 7. Right now they're positive, but I need a negative 9. So use negative factors here. And negative 2 and negative 7 are going to give me that negative 9. So I'm going to use negative 2y, negative 7y. So that looks like our answers. To check this, we're just going to go back up through these and foil them out. So I'm going to use a different color. To check this, I'm going to have x times x or x squared plus 14x plus 1x for the inside plus 1 times 14 is 14. Adding up those middle terms, I get x squared plus 15x plus 14. That is where I started, so that checks. Our check in our next example, x times x is x squared. 
outside terms minus 7x, inside terms minus 3x. Finally, minus 3 times negative 7 is positive 21. Adding up the middle terms, negative 7x minus 3x is minus 10x plus 21. That's exactly where we started. Third example, the check, a times a is a squared. a times negative 12 is negative 12a. 3 times a is positive 3a. And then minus 36 for the last. Collect like terms. In the middle, negative 9a minus 36. That's exactly where we started. Fourth check, m times m is m squared. Outside terms of minus plus 8m. Inside terms minus 3m. Last terms minus 24. Finish collecting like terms. m squared plus 5m minus 24 is exactly where we started. Once again, that checks. To check a prime polynomial, you really just have to check your factorizations. And checking through, there's really only one, uh, two ways to factor a negative 10. None of them are going to add up to 4, so that works. And then our final check for our last problem, x squared, outside terms minus 7xy, inside terms minus 2xy, last terms positive 14y squared. The middle two terms are going to add up to negative 9xy, so x squared minus 9xy plus 14y squared is where we end up. That's where we started, so that checks. So there are the answers to this. Remember, a trinomial will always factor to the product of two binomials if it factors. So all of our answers where it was factorable, we end up with a product of two binomials.